Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to install Helios and one of my profiles from the beginning till the end. So you are going to see all the steps you need to install, set up and run it with DCS. The first of all I want to apologize for my English, it's not the best of the world, but I hope you can understand me. Ok, let's go. The first thing you need to do is download Helios and install it. Here on my page you have the original version of Helios and you have as well the Bluefin Bima new version. I recommend you to use that one because all my new profiles use the new features on this version. So click on the link and download the new Helios. Once you got it, just open it. I'm going to create a new folder, a temporary folder. And let's install it. Next, next. Okay, as you can see, we have installed the problem over there. Ok, usually the first thing I do when I install Helios in a new computer is run the profile. This is because we need a folder in the documents folder for Helios. As you can see, we don't have it right now. As soon as we run the profile editor and close it, we have the new folder over there. There is where we are going to put all the images and profiles we need to to run it. Ok, let's go to one of my files. Let's install, for example, the new F18. You can download from Mega. Got it. I'm going to create a new folder. And put everything inside. Okay, let's see. I opened the new alias folder on the documents on my computer. And over there, in the Helios uh, folder of the F18, we have two folders, images and profiles. I just copy those two. And as you can see, now we have the new profiles inside the Helios system. Okay, so right now, I can run Helios Control Center and if I run the profile you can see that it's not going to work. This is because we need to do a reset monitor on the profile editor. So we open the profile editor. I am going to open the profile and then I choose reset monitors. In that case, I need to be careful if the original profile configuration is similar or not to my actual uh, monitor setup. In my case, it's obvious it's the same. This is the monitor 1, it's going to be in the monitor 1, and the monitor 2 is going to be on the monitor 2. You need to be careful in this step because you need to adapt where do you want to be the Helios uh, screen, in which one. So you can choose with those uh, combo boxes where do you want. In my case, it's not going to change. Press OK and save it again. OK, 
can exit from the program. And now, if I open the file, you can see in the second monitor the Helios profile. Okay. So everything is working right now. Let's continue with the next part of the installation. The next step is to install all the export files we need to make DCS connect to Helios. We need to start to install the script folder. So I am going to open in users, your user, Savet Games. In this case, I, I am going to use the DCS Open Beta. And over there, if you got the script uh, folder, you can just copy all these things inside. If not, you can copy this folder over there. That way, uh, DCS know what to do to send all the data to the Helios program. Okay, right now I'm going to put these two icons on my second monitor. And now I am going to open Okay, DCS is running. Now I am going to open Helios Control Center and open the profile. Let's try. And let's try. See, everything looks correct. The units are moving. And now we need to fill those spaces with all the viewports from DCS. This is the next thing we are going to do. So I am going to stop everything and see the game. The best way to do that, because there are a lot of people that have a lot of problems trying to do this, is to open the Helios Control Center, open the profile, and just make a screenshot using the print screen K in the keyboard. Once you got it, Close Helios and open Find Programming Windows and use paste the screenshot over there. As you can see, we have our screenshot, and now we can just using this program, we can now looking at the corner, the position of the cursor and the size of the rectangle I draw. So we have everything we need, the position and the size. So right now it's very easy to change in the monitor configuration what are the numbers we need. For example, the first window. is going to be 1,000 and the size okay, using this system you can 
used made all your windows. So in the system, you need to complete all the data of all the viewports needed for the profile you are installing. Once you finish, save the configuration file and continue the installation. And now we are going to start the files we need to export the viewport. Here we go. Those are the files. To do that, we need to copy those files inside the game. This is something that are going to give you problems because every time DCS uh, updates he will write all those files. So for do that I recommend you to use OVGMA. It's a program that you can find uh, over here. It's very easy to install and very easy to set up. And in that way you can install all your modules without the problem of uh, DCA's overwrite all the files. In that case, I got my folder in the hard drive. So I am going to put just this folder over there. Now I can uh, activate the monitor configuration for the new viewports. All right, let's see if everything is working. First of all, I am going to activate my monitor configuration. Open the Helios profile editor. Start the profile and then run DCS. Okay, let's see. Let's configure DCS. The first thing you need to change is the resolution. In my case, I am using two monitors of 1920, so I need to choose uh, that one. This is the total uh, width of the two monitors and this is the maximum height. Now I need to choose the configuration, the monitor configuration for the F18. And you need to be sure that you have the aero interface disabled and the full screen disabled. This is very important. Those two need to be disabled. Okay. And now let's do a instant action. Free flight. Okay. Let's fly. And as you can see, everything is working and everything is in its place. You can control the different screens all right I hope this video helped you to start your system and before I finish the video I just want to let you know that I got a discord channel where you can find the solution to all the problems you can get installing Helios or my profiles and over there uh, you can find a lot of kind people that are ready to help you if you need it. So hope you like it and good flights.